and uh, we are starting the next session it's going to be a hands on session using spoken tutorials once again and the topic is uh, creating 2d channel geometry and mesh in open foam so our team members are here from uh, cfd open foam team of cosi mr abhishek regni will take it forward over to you abhishek so let's uh, start our new session hands on session using spoken tutorial and this this session is titled creating 2d channel geometry and mesh in open form uh, here you are not going to do any simulation you are just going to create a channel geometry and then mesh it uh, i'm going to provide link of spoken tutorial in the chat box you can just go there and uh, in this tutorial you have to download a code file which you can do from the same website uh, just at the right side there's a icon code files you can you just have to click on it then it will download code file and you can extract that file and then use the file that is required for this spoken tutorial uh, you just have to follow this spoken tutorial and at the very end uh, you need to follow the same procedure that was used last time to see or view the results using para form or para view okay you guys can start doing this tutorial just like last time i'm going to give you guys 15 minutes for this tutorial and this tutorial is relatively very easy to follow no i'm not sharing any screen right now you just have to follow this tutorial link so it's already 18 minutes uh, how many of you were able to complete this can you raise your hand okay we have couple of raised hands so i hope everyone is able to do this spoken tutorial by, by themselves so i'm going to briefly show you guys how to do this i'm going to be very brief because uh, we have to save some time for other tutorials as well so i'm going to present my screen i hope uh, my screen is visible yes sir Yes, okay so i am in my run directory and if i do ls uh, i don't have any file called channel 395 so i'm going to copy the channel 395 using the same command that was that you guys have used so here the after doing cp minus r the first directory is the file that i'm copying i'm trying to copy channel 395 and this dot represents that i'm going to paste it here in my current directory which is run okay someone was asking me the question what is this this dot represents it represents that it means the current directory so now when i press enter it copies this channel 395 case so now you can see i have a uh, channel 395 in my run directory so i'm going to go to channel 395 and i'm going to remove the my zero folder now i am left with only this so i'm going to open notepad.exe system and block mystic so i'm going to open my block mystic using notepad.exe so i'm going to remove all these thing then i'm going to go to my i'm going to go here from where i have downloaded my files i'm going to copy this thing and and then i'm going to paste it over here and then i'm going to save it so in the spoken tutorial it was explained what is this vertices what is this block and how these boundaries are defined i'm not going to do that again uh, you can if you have some doubt you can go back to the tutorial and watch it again and if you still have some doubt then you can write to us we'll be happy to remove your doubt now that i have done that i have saved it i'm going to do blockness and my blockness is done now i'm going to do touch result dot form this will create a result dot form file in my directory 
So I'm going to open this directory in file explorer using explorer.exe space dot. And I'm going to open this. Step. This time I don't have to go through that open with thing because now my system recognizes uh, Paraview. So I'm just going to open it. And I will click on apply. And here on surface, I'll click here and click on surface with edges. Now you can see how the mesh is. The number of division that was done in X types, and if you count here, it will be equal to the number that you had given in that uh, line hex and your block district. The same on the Y. On Z direction, you had provided one. That's why we only have, you have no division on the Z direction. So this is how you mess a uh, 2D geometry, channel geometry using open form. Uh, sir, could you open the directory where channel 395 is stored once on your explorer? Okay, you mean this uh, run channel 395, this thing? Uh, no, no, the first one which you copy pasted, the original place where you. Okay, you want me to go to the original place? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, to do that, uh, so I have a shortcut. If I do TUT, TUT, it will get me to the tutorial directory. This shortcut will open work in uh, all of you guys also, tutorial. And if I do LS, I have different uh, tutorials from open from directory. So I'm going to go to this incompressible. So CD incompressible. And if I inside the incompressible, I have different uh, tutorials for different solvers. So I'm going to go to pimple form. And here I have LES. RAS and laminar. Since we were using LES, I'm going to go to CD LES. And here you can find channel 395. Uh, yeah. This doesn't exist, sir, in my. Uh, so you, you might be using some other version of open form. Yeah, uh, okay. That could be the reason it doesn't exist. It might exist, but it might exist in some other uh, location. You just have to figure it out. You have to search for it. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to uh, stop this tutorial because we are already past 25 minutes. I hope everyone is able to follow the tutorials. If you have some questions, uh, you can ask now. Can you cross check the dimension in the para, para view? So yeah, you can cross check the dimension in para view, but there's a way to do it. Uh, So if you would like to find the dimension, you can click on this scale thing. And then you can here provide the, in point one, I'm giving uh, this location. And in X, I'm gonna give one and then click on apply. So this will give me uh, the length. So depending on what you might have uh, put in the block mystic, you can put the original uh, thing, let's see. Uh, so can anyone tell me uh, what was the the second point? I can figure it out by going here also. So my second point was four meter long. So it means if I do here four and then press enter and then press apply. So this is showing me a distance that is four meter long. So as you can see, it exactly matches with the geometry. So it means it is indeed four meter long. So this is how you can verify it. So um, can't we see that uh, coordinates directly? directly? Is there any command for that? Yeah, suppose I want to see the coordinates, all coordinates at the same time. Is, is there any way to do it? Yeah, there is a way to do it, uh, but I don't think it works in uh, WSL. I think you can can go to Axis Grid and check that. Yeah, you that. can do that as well. But uh, this is a much easier way. What you can do is type uh, paraform dash block. Yeah, that should be applied. So here you can see the numbering of the block that was made. How it was done. Uh, however, to do this, you need to enable your graphic. Uh, this in your WSL. If you have Windows 11, it, it works by default, but if you have Windows 10, then it, it won't work. 
Okay, so uh, now I would like to. We are running out of time, and we also need to do one more, another uh, session. So I'll just see if anyone no. has any questions. Uh, Sonia, explorer.exe command is not working. Uh, I think you forgot to give a dot at the end. So explorer.exe space dot, and that dot represents you want to open the current directory, the one you are within. So this is not a simulation. Yes, one thing. This was just uh, missing. We we just uh, missed a two D channel geometry. Now, if you were not able to do this, uh, no problem. We are again going to do a similar smoke on tutorial, and this time you are hello, sir. Yes, Vingat is. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, I didn't getting nothing, sir. Morning itself also, I didn't get nothing, sir. I got a error. Uh... When I enter the first command, is so like no source file. Sorry. Showing like that. Uh, no. No source file. Source file. I can put it in the chat box also, sir. Okay, you can put in the chat box. Uh, we have to start another tutorial as well. Uh, you you put your queries in the chat box. Whatever error you get, uh, we'll try to solve it. Sir, uh, it's showing like this error, sir. Okay, so uh, before that, I'm, I'm going to start the next tutorial. Uh, okay.